It's been that for a bit, it's been that. We're going to be looking at Travis Stop Gone Wrong. Dashcam Every week, the dashcam videos you send us get crazier and crazier. Hi. From wild wrecks to insane oh. instant justice, every video was sent in by our fans. And you won't find these incredible stories being oh. told anywhere else. Okay. Buckle up. Taylor called 911 to report what he believed was an intoxicated Civic driver. Shortly after he led a state trooper in front of him to follow the Civic, Taylor watched it drift off the road and into a parked vehicle. Oh, GG's. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, no way. Yo. A drunk driver, a Honda bump, and instant justice? This might be the most wham bam of wham bam moments. Well, it would be, except the Civic driver passed a breathalyzer test. He wasn't drunk and claimed he'd just fallen asleep. Oh, Incredibly, geez. the collision ended up involving four vehicles in total. The Civic clipped a black VW sedan, then slammed into a Dodge SUV and pushed it into a Ford Focus, oh, which isn't dang. visible in the dash cam footage. Taylor stuck around to give out copies of his footage. He also told us that two weeks later, the Civic was still parked in the same place on the side of the road. Oh. This anonymous submitter was driving past a parking lot when a white car flew through a stop sign on the right and our submitter had no opportunity to stop before slamming into oh, it. Both the white Kia Optima and our submitter's Infiniti Q60 were disabled by the impact before the Kia driver fled the scene on foot. Both vehicles were totaled by the collision, but thanks to bystanders, he was arrested minutes later. Our submitter told us the Kia driver was charged with fleeing the scene of a collision, failing to obey a traffic control device, driving with a suspended license and no insurance, and for his second DUI. Wow. Thankfully, our submitter wasn't injured. Since the Kia driver wasn't insured, Insured, our submitter's insurance provider covered everything. Oh, okay. Tarun watched a driver from his left run a red light before getting a taste of instant justice. Oh, hey, don't a police light, SUV bro. that had been driving behind Tarun sped past. Like, once you at least expect it sometimes, like, once you're not even thinking, you feel me? And you're just driving like casually, like, you're not thinking of nothing, then boom. That's when it happens, you feel me? You think you can get away with something? The hell is that? Well, like, I, I'm, like, once you feel like you can get away with something, then boom, like, something bad happens, you feel me? Asked him before the officer lit up his party lights to pull the scofflaw over for a friendly chat. You love to see it. There are more instant justice videos coming up, so be sure to subscribe if you're enjoying the video. This emitter was on his way to the beach with his mother when it started raining heavily. When she tapped the brakes, her Chevy Camaro began to hydroplane before leaving oh, the highway and slamming head on into a tree. As a result of the collision, the Camaro was totaled. While his mother was unhurt, our submitter got to ride in an ambulance. He's since made a full recovery. Needless to say, the family did not end up going to the beach. Uh, geez, geez. This submitter, who wanted us to call him X, was in a left turn lane when he watched the box truck ahead of him continue straight instead. Oh. Oh, oh it's, I'm telling you, bro. I'm Professor you. X got. When you like cool and just listening to music, and you, that's when at least, that's uh, you least expect it, that's what happened. Got to witness instant lie. justice when an unmarked Dodge Charger went chasing after the box truck with siren screaming. Mr. X pointed out that if we zoom in, we can see the party lights come on. Ah. Nice catch, Dr. X. <laughs> hey, nigga, trolling. Caden was headed home after visiting his father when an oncoming SUV drifted into his lane, forcing him to swerve and clip a construction pylon with his Trailblazer's oh, oh, side view oh, mirror. Oh, whoa, 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 come on, bro, come on. Caden told us he decided. Man, y'all gotta stop, man, with that. At nighttime, trying to cross, and you got go. Oh, one ain't going that way, one ain't going this way, bro. And it's nighttime, and you in the corner doing that, bro. You get your life, get your driver license took away for the rest of your life, like for real, man. Like ain't no point in doing that, man. Like you don't know what's coming on that side. You feel me? And you turn the corner, and it's nighttime. 
decided to send us this video after looking over and seeing his side mirror folded in. Thankfully, the damage was extremely minimal and barely noticeable. Caden told us he's been a fan of the Wham Bam channels for over two years now, and as much as he loves his trailblazer, he hopes one day to upgrade to a Tesla Model X Plaid. We can't wait for your Tesla cam videos, Caden. Curtis sent us this video from when his girlfriend Nikki was headed to work one morning. Just after getting on the main road, she witnessed a Nissan driver pull out into traffic and get T-boned by a car they hadn't seen coming. Oh. Wow. Both drivers stopped and... Man, that, that's like... Your heart drops, you feel me? Once you're in an accident, bro, your heart drops. Nikki gave her information to the police in case they wanted to see her footage. Amazingly, the cops also witnessed the wreck, which is probably why Curtis and Nikki never did hear back from the police. Fox was driving his Ford Fusion when he watched another driver run a stop sign right in front of a sheriff's deputy. Uh, I bet you can guess what happened next. You deserve that. I'm not, I'll be honest, bro. You deserve that. Like, once you least expect it, bro, that's when it happens. Like, you just cool and cruise and boom. You trying to um, do some illegal, run a red light, run a stop sign. Boom, that's when you get caught. You feel me? Of course, me. Party lights, instant justice, you get the drill. We're guessing that driver, on the other hand, got a ticket. Whoopsie. Glenn was driving along and listening to a podcast when traffic came to a stop. Without warning, his Ford Transit van was rear-ended by a driver he says was distracted by her phone. Ah, oh, this is... Damn! Damn! Glenn Damn. estimates the Jeep struck his van at around 35 miles per hour, <laughs> pushing it will take some time to get sorted out. Herbert was headed home after work when traffic ahead began slowing down for an oncoming ambulance. Right. When he glanced in his rearview mirror, he noticed the driver behind him wasn't slowing down fast ah, enough. No, 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 no. Thinking quickly, Herbert went around the SUV ahead of him to give the driver behind him a chance to notice what was happening and stop safely. His idea worked, and the Toyota missed rear-ending the Mercedes by inches. Herbert about. wanted to shout out his family, the Brooks Ohana, and he told us they all love watching the Wham Bam channels together. James was waiting at a traffic light, but when it turned green, he noticed a driver from his left that wasn't stopping for their light, which was now red. James hit the brakes, but a driver ah, next to him wasn't as observant. Why you kept on going? Why you kept on going? Oh my gosh, man. Observant. Stop, 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 stop. He can stop, stop. The driver oh, of a minivan T-boned the red light runner before it could make it across the intersection. James offered his footage to the minivan driver, but with police on the scene when the collision occurred, his footage wasn't needed. He told us he got the impression that the red light runner had just arrived in the United States from a place where traffic lights are a suggestion, but who knows. Ah, Tanner was headed to lunch with his family when they watched an impatient driver ahead of them earn the title of Tesla behaving badly. That, that Tesla man can't oh, drive. That, that Tesla man can't drive. As the driver of a Ford Escape made a left turn, the Model S driver behind them evidently thought they were going too slow and tried to cut in front of them during the turn. Thankfully, both vehicles escaped without any damage. Be patient, bro. Ed was approaching an intersection when a Honda driver from his left went into a right turn too fast and sideswiped the driver's side of his Honda Accord. Uh, oh, no. I know what you're thinking, and no, I didn't forget the Honda bump jingle. Not every collision involving a Honda is a Honda bump. It's only a Honda bump if the Honda rear ends a stopped vehicle. Come on, we've talked about this. Both drivers stopped and Ed called 911 to report the collision. The estimate for repairing Ed's Accord came to 6,900 US dollars. Paul was on his way into town with his mother for some shopping when they watched another driver turn in front of the SUV ahead of them. The driver of the Hyundai SUV slammed on the brakes. Paul told us that even though it looks very close, neither vehicle was damaged. 
That's good, that's good. Job. Brett's that's wife, Kelly, was on her way to work when she witnessed the two cars ahead of her suddenly collide. Oh. Bro, why is you doing this dumbass, bro? Oh. Ahead of her suddenly collide. That's some dumbass And a sub vehicle, whatever, that other vehicle be like, you want to fall and you did this? That fucking bro. It seemed like one driver was turning right, but as the driver behind them began accelerating to continue past them, they suddenly started making a U-turn, and the other driver wasn't able to avoid T-boning them. Kelly stopped and provided her contact info to the driver of the red Nissan Altima, letting them know she had dashcam footage of the collision before continuing on her way to work. This emitter sent us two videos captured by his dash cam on different days, but both show other people sneaking through a toll gate without paying. The first is of a biker sticking close behind a car to make it under the toll gate while the booth attendant looks the other way. Next is a car driver who floored it through the toll booth, nearly rear-ending the driver who had paid to get- Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I low-key hate tolls, man. But they just too expensive, bro. Like, bold out here is like, Damn near like five dollars per like per car, you feel me? Per vehicle, per toll. And sometimes I run through like three tolls, bro. Three to four tolls, man. And at that point, bro, I'm just cooked, bro. Can't go nowhere. Get the gate open in the process. Classy. Hopefully this little tactic will eventually be met with some instant justice. He can't, I ain't gonna lie to him, he can't really Matthew was waiting at a traffic light right when the, the drivers in the two turn lanes next to him Same got a protected green light. Sadly, one of those drivers evidently didn't realize there were two turn lanes. Ah, oh, dumbass. Dumbass. I'm, I'm talking about California people don't know how to drive, bro. They don't, bro. The driver of a Honda Civic tried to make a U-turn, but they were in the outer turn lane, which can't legally make U-turns. The Civic collided with a Porsche SUV. Thankfully, inside, nobody was injured. Fun. Both drivers pulled over, and Matthew followed to provide his dashcam footage to the Porsche driver. Their insurance provider called him. You got in a wreck with a Porsche. You in generational debt, bro. You never paid that off, bro. You might as well just give up. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Move countries, bro. Start a new life. Cause at that point, bro, once you get hit by, a, once you hit, fuck, once you, fuck, once you, damn it, once you hit a Porsche, bro, you're cooked. Simple. Him the next day, and he emailed them a written statement of what he'd witnessed. Three. Julio was on his way to work when someone leaving Julio This was made three days ago Julio in their driveway almost backed directly in front of Julio's Mercedes CLK Oh Here you go Julio Julio swerved into the oncoming lane while braking and honking the horn. Thankfully, his maneuver prevented a collision and he was able to continue on his way to work. Oh, good job. Good job, Julio. Logan was on his way home in his Subaru Crosstrek when he was suddenly rear-ended by a Volvo S60. Dang, 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 dang. Logan exchanged insurance information with the Volvo driver who took full responsibility for the collision. Fixing Logan's Crosstrek cost 15,000 Canadian dollars, almost 11,000 US dollars, and took about two months. I ain't gonna lie, 11K for a bumper, a back bumper? That's kind of insane, bro. Like, it's just a back bumper. You feel me? It's just plastic, my nigga. Like, what the? I don't know, bro. I could be wrong. I don't know, bro. It's Let always fun to see our submitters' animal encounters caught on dash cam, even if they did occur in a safari park. This submitter sent us his footage of giraffes walking right next to his Hyundai Tucson. Well, that's something you don't see every day, Monkey unless you visit the safari park every day or live in Africa. If you want to see something else unusual, check out this episode featuring a Tesla getting stabbed.
with, well, we don't actually know. Or if you cooked. Hey, bro. If y'all like the video, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And y'all tell me where that safari park at. And I'll, I'll go there and make a video. Man, that's super the video. GG's. Good luck in life, bro. Hope y'all making a life, bro. Hope y'all grind like Kevin Gates. That's it with the video, bro. I'm just a chill ass nigga, bro. I ain't really got no friends. The niggas I fuck with, I don't call them my friends. I call them my bros. And I only got like three of them. I ain't really got no bros. My nigga, I don't fuck with nobody. Like a lot of people, they always be like, nigga, you switched up. You did this, you did that. Now that y'all niggas see me doing something, y'all see me finally doing something. Now all of a sudden, y'all niggas want to feel some type of way. But y'all wasn't there when I was struggling, though. Where was y'all?